Hey everybody, good morning. Um, today I'm going to do a video about angles and body position and how to create a lot of power just by simply body position. A lot of people think, um, you know, they got to build their quads and they got to build their glutes and the heavier I lift, the faster I'll skate. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Um, if you ever look at some of the um, like some videos of like little Koreans skating, they're the littlest people out there and they blow everybody away. But the one thing that they have is um, really good technique. And I did a sideboard video um, a few days ago, um, you know, that showed some really basic body position, um, you know, and, and some warm up and I talked a lot about knee direction. Today I'm going to take that a step, a step further and um, I'm going to show you how to create some angles. And angles mean a lot of power. Um, so anyhow, um, let's get started. I'm going to show you just some things to think about. Um, and don't try this on your slide board or anything just yet. Um, we're going to do, I, I just have my little fuzzy socks on. You can do it in shoes or you can do it barefoot. You can, um, you know, you can do whatever you want. But anyhow, this is, I'm going to be talking about your hips, um, your femur direction, you know, what you're doing with your core, what muscles are you engaging. All right, so um, I'm going to stand up and uh, we're going to get started. All right, so I'm going to show you um, like just some simple uh, single leg balance. And um, we're going to start with the core and what your upper body should look like when you're kind of creating your first angle. Um, I have my uh, cheapo slide board movers, or uh, <laughs> furniture mover here, um, but that's only to help me go down and show you um, what's, what it's gonna look like in skating position, okay? So I'm gonna balance on my, well, my right leg and put my left foot here on, um, on the slide. All right, so the first angle you're gonna make is with your torso. Um, if you ever see, uh, you know, divas, they're either on one hip or the other. Unfortunately for you guys, uh, <laughs> that's exactly the position that you wanna create, actually, when you're doing a single leg balance for skating. First of all, you're kind of finding like a little pocket in your hip, but that's your balance point. That's what's gonna hold you up. Okay, because if your knee's twisting and um, you know in one direction or the other, first of all, you're gonna have knee problems and it's gonna hurt, and um, you're also gonna be really off balance and um, it's gonna throw your body in positions that you don't want for technical, um, effective uh, skating. Okay, so what I want you to do is kind of balance on one leg and kind of find like a little pocket in your hip, okay? So you're gonna sit in your hip. Um, first of all, this is where all of your power comes from. If, it, if anybody says all your power comes from your hips, this is what they're talking about, but it's another thing to actually have the feeling of skating within, uh, with the power in your hips, okay? So I want you to kind of lean to one side and stick out your hip socket. And almost, it's almost like you're sitting in a chair kind of at a 45 degree angle, so not beside you, not behind you, but kind of at an angle, like you're sitting, I'm sitting in a chair over here, okay? So I want you just to bend a little bit, push out your hip without twisting your upper body. And what that's doing, you can see in my hip area, is it's creating an angle, okay, without twisting. I don't want a straight line, I want to create almost like a side crunch, okay? This is what we're going to be doing, working on. Crunching to the right and to the left, okay? So this is the first angle you want to make. And I'm going to adjust the camera and show you the other angle um, that, that's going to create. Um, and it's kind of got to go down the chain and eventually make a lot of power that goes down into the ground when you skate, okay? So pause the video and do a couple of single uh, leg up downs where you're 
your foot, uh, you know, one foot or the other is one foot or the other is going directly to the side, and you're kind of finding your little hip pocket, and you're crunching to the one side. Don't twist. Everything's square, and you're sitting in a chair that's kind of at an angle, not to the not to the right, not directly behind you. Everybody says to sit back, sit back, sit back. Well. There's an angle at which you have to sit, okay? So now I'm gonna adjust the video and show you what it does below your hips. All right, so here we go. Now, you're creating, you're sitting in your hip socket. And um, you kind of found your balance point. You're crunching. And um, a lot of people, I don't know, when I was, uh, being coached on ice, a lot of people called it making some C, and uh, that was kind of what I visioned in my head, I'm making C's with my upper body. Mostly as you're just doing a side crunch, but it's good to have like a visual of creating like a swoop in your side, okay? And um, anyhow, so now watch what happens um, to the upper part of my leg. Watch what happens to my femur direction as I go down. Okay, so a straight squat is going to, you know, that's going to create just angle front to back, okay? So in my slide board video, I talked a lot about angle here. Now, I'm going to talk about angle this way. Okay, so you're going to sit in your socket. Crunch. And as you go down, look at the angle you're creating. So now you're instead of your femur direction being here or out, which when most people do slide board or dry land or um, you know any sort of training for skating, oh hockey players, figure skaters, uh, hockey players, I feel like <laughs> create all sorts of swooping. Um, but anyhow, the fastest. Um, way from point to point is a straight line. Um, so anyhow, I have my, when I set down my foot, my foot is straight, but see the angles I'm creating here and here. Now, what that translates to is um, a lot of power that's built up in your hip. It's like you're creating a lot of pressure, okay? So angle here, my foot is still straight, now, what happens in transition, we call it power in transition, is you're gonna press your hip down to the other side. And it's just the smallest movement, but when you create that pressure and that angle, you're not just using your muscles, you're using your body position to create a lot of power. Angle here, hip, push your hip down, and transfers to the other side. And I can do more exercises where um, it explains more in depth, you know, what's happening uh, to the weight in your foot, like where is the pressure on the bottom of your foot um, when you're doing this and timing, and there's a lot more to it, but if you start with angles and um, the power and transition in your hips, and if you can find that balance point where you're, where you're balancing in your hip, um, uh, a lot of good things can happen to your skating and you're not going to fatigue your quads or your glutes as much, um, but you're, you're going to engage more of your body um, and manipulate it to get the power that you want.